news update. For InfoLive TV, this is David Oman. The Likud Party Secretariat convened on Sunday to discuss Chairman Benjamin Netanyahu's initiative to hold the party's primaries within the next two or three months. It has been reported that major figures in the party have told Netanyahu that swift early elections would most likely help him beat rival member of Knesset Sylvan Shalom. Prime Minister Olmert offered Interior Minister Roni Baron the position of Finance Minister in place of Avram Hirson, who resigned Saturday. Olmert also intends to appoint former Minister Chaim Ramon, Vice Premier, and a minister without portfolio, and Housing Minister Meir Shitrit is slated to replace Baron in the Interior Ministry. One year after the Second Lebanon War, some 150 soldiers, both in active service and reserve duty, decided to sign a biological will by which they will freeze sperm for the future use by their spouses or to be used by their parents as executors of the will to impregnate the surrogate. As part of a number of measures intended to strengthen PA Chairman Mahmoud Abbas, Israel transferred $118 million in tax revenues to the Palestinian government on Sunday. The remainder of the tax revenues will be transferred to Abbas's government within six months. Palestinian Iman Kamamji was convicted Sunday by the Judea military court for the murder of 18-year-old Eliyahu Asheri, who was kidnapped from a hitchhiking post near the settlement of Ofra a year ago and shot to death. Kamamji received a life sentence. One year after the Second Lebanon War, some 150 soldiers, both in active service and reserve duty, decided to sign a biological will by which they will freeze sperm for the future use by their spouses or to be used by their parents as executors of the will to impregnate the surrogate. Elisha Yanai, chairman of the Association of Electronics and Software Industries in Israel, said that at least 100,000 additional workers are needed in Israel's high-tech industries, half of whom in the software and engineering fields. Join us today on InfoLive as the female graduates of the prestigious Israel Air Force Pilots course speak out. Also on InfoLive, an exclusive video on the televised killing in the last episode of Farfur, the Mickey Mouse Hamas lookalike on Hamas TV's children's show. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.